everybody and welcome my name is Mr. Stasey and today we are going with another Chelsea career mode I'm actually very excited I was really enjoying this uh, last time I was recording uh, I've got a little bit of news for you guys here we've got our player of the month is Diego Costa I'm not entirely sure how it's Diego Costa but it is so it's good to see a Chelsea player is player of the month no love lost for Ba he wasn't too happy uh yeah, Philip Louise suffers a sprained knee injury. So this is if you guys didn't watch the last episode, Louise got wrecked and is out. So we have no left back because we did drop Aspilicueta out of our lineup to make room for Matt's Hummels, but Matt's Hummels is a center back. So we're in a in a tough situation here. Uh yeah, not a whole lot though going on other than that. So we'll go see here. We're coming off of a 7-0 victory over Austin Villa. We actually have a game against the Gunners up next, which will be interesting. So we'll have to see how that goes down. Uh, at the are we okay? Of oh, forty-six million. Okay, so I was looking at a few players uh, over the over the last few. Um, I, I you know I wanted to scout a few players to see what they were going to be like. Andre Sherlove is out is out for nine days again. Jeez, I think that's the second injury in uh, how much we got. Yes, two thousand dollars for winning that game. That's enough to pay like one one hundredth of Hazard's salary, but um, Louise is out. Uh, player for the upcoming match, we're gonna go. Sure, we'll give we'll give Salah we'll give Salah a start. He played really well in the one game that we played him. Do I do I feel like he's the man of the hour in this game? I don't know. This is interesting. Oh, what the heck? My team sheets are really glitchy for some reason here. But uh, we will have to move Philip Louise out of our starting eleven. Uh, William will be on the, he will be on the bench for sure. I don't want him completely gone. Uh, and I was, yeah, that's oh Philip Louise has to go. So who do we have? Who do we have to replace him? Uh, John Obi Mikel. That's who's gonna go in there. I think Mikel will be a, a suitable player, for now, for now. And uh, this will be our, do we go Andre Sherla? I said he was injured for nine days. He looks fine, but we'll, we'll keep him as a super sub. And uh, yeah, that should be our lineup for the game here against Arsenal. We are home, so it is at the Stamford Bridge. That sounded really weird, at the Stamford Bridge. But yeah, it's at Stamford Bridge, so we should should have a decent chance at winning this game. Eden Hazard. Uh, we're we're going to give them the, the red. Look at the form my team is in right now. Fantastic. Remy and Costa both playing really well. Both of them actually have six goals in the Premier League. They're tied for the league lead with, I think it's Mata as well. So, um, yeah, so Mata's playing really well at Man U, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, we'll, we'll get into this game. We'll see if we can get ourselves a fantastic result against the Gunners. I haven't played FIFA in, like, I'm going to say roughly three to four days. So, uh, you know, I might be a bit, a bit if, iffy here. So we'll see what we can do. So far, we haven't really gone forward at all, but we haven't gone backwards either. Uh, nice ball here. Oh, lovely. Oh, he's offside. <sighs> really take it to me here. Uh, John Obi Mikel, way out of position. And this is going to fall. To oh, get there. Oh, good tackle. Get well in. But not done yet. The danger's not gone yet. Oh, my God. It's 1 0 for Arsenal. Lorente. Oh, he got transferred to Arsenal. I forgot about that. What a... Oh, that is that is devastating, actually. So, we're down a goal to nil here at Stamford Bridge to uh, to uh, to Arsenal here. So, here comes Remy. Remy on the run. Cut back. Oh, force your way in there, Remy. What a strike. It's a 1-1. What a goal from Loic Remy. That's why I love this guy. I know I bashed him at the beginning of the season, but he comes out big, and we have leveled this game against Arsenal, and this this is starting to get pretty intense. <sighs> 13 minutes, let's go. Minute, minute. minute. Hummels, come on, mate. Come on, get out, get out, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Oh, God, I almost took out my own guy. How is that not a pen? That looked like a pen to me. I don't know about you, but unless it's just a little bit of a little theatrical dive, but it looked pretty bad. Oh, lovely challenge. Uh, I believe that is halftime. Halftime at the bridge against Arsenal. one all. Oh, this game has been just brutal. This Darby. It's it's a Darby. It just... Oh, it's killing me inside. One header 
goal, and then we got Remy on the board as well. So I've been better in the second half, remember? So we'll see if we can we can get this uh, this game going here in the second half. And uh, we'll go here, Willian. Beautiful into the space for Mohamed Salah. Oh, Salah. Salah, please! What a goal from Mohamed Salah! Oh, so undeserved! It is so undeserved! Oh, Arsenal have been all over us the whole match. And it's a 2-1 scoreline now. And uh, I don't know if I feel like I'm just going to go and defend this. Or if I should just uh, see if I can maybe get one more here. The substitutes, I guess, worked. And uh, Andre Sherla. Andre Sherla, what a run from Sherla. But, and that would have been a terrible challenge. That's a good ball. That's a really good ball. And uh, we'll see if we can... Lorente in the air has been just brutal, but great clearance from John Obi McKell, or maybe not so good. And, uh, oh, it's just wide. How has he missed? Aaron Ramsey has missed a beautiful chance in the last minute of the game. It's Matic, Hazard, and that is game. That is game. Yes. Wow, what a game. That was really, really crazy match. Remy doing what he does, getting on the board. And I believe that is, if it, unless Matt has scored, that should be the league-leading seventh goal. I'll have a look, but wow, what a result. I don't think I deserved to win, but I wasn't really paying much attention. Liverpool destroying West Bromwich Albion. Man City drawing with Austin Villa. That's what I like to see. Oh, you're, okay, one quadrado. Uh, my role at the club. Uh, okay, Didier Drog, but you're not going to get much playing time. Uh, I hope you understand that. But, uh, wow, what a match, and we don't have much time, but uh, I'll be back, guys, when we're getting ready for the second game. As you guys can see, we are actually on top of the table currently, but Man United have that game in hand, so we'll see. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'll be back in a moment when we get into that second game. All right, everybody, I am back here in, uh, in this career mode. We are going into our second game of the episode, and we are going with a very weird squad. Uh, as you guys can see, we are going with Sherla up front with Drogba because Drogba wants some more playing time. But I don't know if we're going to give him too much more playing time. But uh, we have a pretty tired squad, so I let him in. Ramirez is playing left mid over Hazard, who is really tired. Uh, Matic should be coming off because he's tired. And Terry, but we gave, but we actually went ahead and we gave uh, Hummels the break. And uh, yeah, a lot of changes into this team. Mikel at left back, still Ivanovic right back. Courtois between the sticks. And we have a game against Crystal Palace, October 7th. Getting closer and closer to Halloween. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, well, on the game it is, but uh, we'll see here. Uh, going with the bright yellow kit versus Crystal Palace. This should be a decent match. Andre Schurle looked really good after he came on in that game. In the last game against Arsenal, which was an absolute cracking match. I didn't, I didn't see was it, it was Salah who did end up scoring. I'm pretty sure. But um, I'm not entirely sure who it was. If it was uh, Remy or Remy or uh, Mohamed Salah, who's been absolutely brilliant. But we'll see Fletcher. Is that Steven Fletcher, I wonder? But anyway, let's get into this game. Put him through Drogba. Little touch pass. And, uh, and a little cross here. Oh, that's a lovely goal. Andre Sherla is the one who puts it in the back of the net. But what a setup play, though, from uh, from us there. I would have wished it was Drogba, but Andre Sherla, fantastic finish, 1-0. And uh, everything's feeling pretty comfortable here at Selhurst in the early minutes. So it was uh, it was really a first attack on, on Crystal Palace. We had just won the ball up to Willie. And a ball in the middle. Andre Sherla takes a touch and shoots. And, oh, my God, Spironi with a fantastic save. For Crystal Palace, wow! Cut back here with Drogba. Oh, it's a block, but I was gonna—I was going for it with Drogba. It looks like me. Oh, never mind. Those are the lights. That looks—that's a really cool feature with the lights on the side. If you see Barkley's there, the lights of the blue. Looks like a, it's a really neat feature in the game. But I—I I should actually get to uh, taking this corner with Oscar. We do. Oh, it's a fantastic header from Ramirez. That is for two 0 on the corner. It's a lovely corner. Ramirez is he that big? I don't even think Ramirez is that big of a guy, and he gets in there really well for that header, and that's 2-0. Right through Andre to get the ball away from him, so that's a great first half here at Selhurst Park. 2-0 going into the break. Goals from Ramirez and Andre Sherla. 
Ramirez having a fantastic game, a goal and an assist for him. So uh, Andre Sherla is in on goal. And uh, that should be a goal. Yeah, thank you, Andre Sherla. There's three. From one end, a great chance for Palace, and then straight down from Andre Sherla for three. And uh, this game's getting definitely out of hand here for, for Crystal Palace. So we'll see how... Uh, I might almost have, like, you know, it might be almost worth looking at the difficulty again, maybe adding it, putting it up to legendary for games like this. But uh, we'll, we'll definitely see about that. But there is a chance. It's a fantastic save from Courtois. It's a fantastic challenge, and I believe that will be the end of the match. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video or this series. I'm really enjoying doing it. But, yeah, look at the stats. It's just dom dom domination by us there. And uh, let's have a look at the other games. Arsenal 3-1. Man City 4 nothing over Spurs. That was over the Spurs. That's an impressive win. But uh, yeah, we'll advance a few days into the future. We actually have a Champions League game, I believe, up next. And uh, wow, a nice long break before the game against Schalke. Philip Luiz says he's okay to play. So we let's just have a look here. Uh, final scout report on Matt Skiglio. Uh, let's have a look at that. He will... I just want to see what his price is around, like four, overall 76. He might be somebody worth bringing in for the future. He's got really good stats, uh, and he goes for really cheap, so we might be able to pick him up for that. all those injuries. Uh, I'm okay to play a boss. Uh, okay, well, Philip Louise. I feel like we should give him a give him a break. Uh, you know, don't rush him back into the team into the first team yet. Uh, I don't want to re redo that injury, but we do have a game against Schalke, and that is actually the battle for top of the group. But let's have a look at the Premier League table, and uh, because that has been a table that uh, we we should be focusing on right now. Uh, look at that. We are doing very well on top of the table. Three points up on Newcastle and Manchester United. Newcastle having a fantastic season. And uh, the drop zone. Burnley still yet to win a game. West Ham still haven't won a game either. Austin Villa off of that 7 nothing route that we did to them. Do have a win, but they are in the relegation zone. Hall, Swansea, QPR. And uh, yeah, but that's uh, looking like the table. Crystal Palace doing very well for the game we just played against them. Arsenal ninth. Uh, Ars Arsenal ninth. That's pretty surprising. But the rest of the table starting to shape up. City, Spurs, Liverpool, Man U, and Newcastle all on the top six, which looks pretty, pretty good. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. My name is Mr. Steezy, and peace out.